okay guys so to start off with you want to pick up the color that you want your wings to be and then just pick up a brush from inking set or you can use whatever brush you like it doesn't really matter at this point we are just creating the basic silhouette of the wing as such and also once you are happy with the whole silhouette just fill it in with the color of your likings Once you're done filling it in with the color that you like, just alpha lock the layer and just select some 2-3 colors which uh, you know kind of match with the base color you have and then just put those colors wherever you want it. So as you can see here I am painting this pink color right in the middle and I'm also um, taking a lighter version of the pink right in the middle point of um, the wing. And I'm just adding Gaussian Blur to the whole layer just to blend all of those colors out together. Once you're done with that, you want to create a new layer and this time you want to pick up a brownish kind of color and pick up a, a brush from inking brush set. Now it doesn't really matter what brush you pick up, but just pick up a brush from that brush set and also make sure to increase the streamline of the brush as well. And just start drawing the wing section as I am doing here in the video. You can just follow mine or you can just create your own sections on the wings. Once I'm done with the wing section, I'm just duplicating the layer and just adding it above it just to make those section or the lining of the section a little bit thicker. But you can just go ahead and use a thicker size brush rather than have to, you know, duplicate the layer and do it that way. So once you're done with that, make sure to decrease the opacity of the wing section up to 60% or you can just, you know, do it according to your likings and once you're happy with the wing section just create a new layer just above it it doesn't really matter you just have to make sure that you are creating a new layer for each and everything you are doing so that you don't mess it up now once you have a new layer just pick up a darker brownish color and start making the shadows just underneath the lines that are creating the section in the wings as you can see in the video just make sure just keep in mind where the light source is coming from for your drawing and keeping that in mind just start creating the shadows for the wing section as i am doing here and i'm using soft airbrush and uh, the size of the brush is also really low and i'm also going over and creating the shadows really light-handed
and once you are done with the shadows just pick up a white color and create a new layer again and i'm using the similar soft air brush and decrease the size of the brush again just make sure it is small in size so that we can create precise line while creating the highlights over the wing section as i'm doing here in the video and once you're done with all of that what you want to do is just go ahead and pick up the layer where we you know initially um, painted the whole wing with and where we added the gaussian blur and take up eraser now for eraser i'm using soft airbrush and just decrease the opacity of the eraser a little bit and just start erasing the parts from the middle like from one section just pick up your one section and erase that part really lightly from the middle part i really hope that makes sense so as you can see in the video i'm doing that now this only applies when you want the wings to be uh, see-through and not when you want them to be solid colored Now, once you're done with that as well, just create a new layer just above where we initially uh, painted the whole wing with and just change the layer mode to color dodge and pick up the colors from the wing itself and start painting on the corners of, the, of each section as I'm doing here in the video just to create that really glowy kind of effect on the wings. Once that is done, just pick up Nebula brush from Luminance brush set and by picking up color from each section. So as for the, that bluish part, I'm picking up blue color and with just decreasing the size of it, I'm really lightly painting over the wing. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this brush has this really nice texture a sparkly texture which i really like now you can skip this step if you want but i think this really does create that fairy tale kind of effect or magical kind of effect so to speak so that's what i'm doing here now duplicate the base layer and um just add gaussian blur to the one which is underneath it so what is it is going to do is it is just going to add that really nice glow to it and to add another layer of glow i'm picking up light brush from luminance brush set and i'm just going over the edges of the wings as you can see in the video and once i'm done with that i'm gonna add gaussian blur to this as well so this is going to create this really nice glowy kind of effect to the wing now you want to add sparkles to the wing so for that i'm picking up light pen from luminance brush set and i'm also decreasing the size of the brush i don't know if you guys can really see on the screen what i'm doing but i'm adding little dots here in there just to create this sparkly effect on the wing Now what I'm doing is I'm just creating a new layer just at the bottom of everything and I'm picking up soft airbrush and I'm just uh, creating these little glow balls here and there around the wing just to create that magical effect. Now you guys can go ahead and do it your way, the way you want it. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just picking up colors from the wings and just adding these little balls really light handed so that I don't have to add blur to them or add gaussian blur to them and once I'm done with that I'm picking up this light brush from luminance brush set and also just gonna decrease the size of it and I'm just adding really uh, like really small dot over those blended uh, um, glow balls just to create that kind of shiny glowy kind of effect if that makes any sense 
Now here I went ahead and uh, you know changed the color of the glow to yellow as uh, I liked it better. You can do whatever you like. And that is it for today's video you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial. And if you did, please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you do create something out of my tutorials, do not forget to tag me on Instagram and I'll link, link it down in the description as well. And I will see you guys the next time.